saying with a theme here, one of the most successful coaches in college basketball history has died. Hall of Fame coach Dean Smith passed away Saturday night at the age of 83. The former North Carolina coach and had health issues in recent years. Smith won two national championships with the Tar Heels along with an Olympic gold medal. Uh, he was remembered over the weekend by coaching greats Coach K and Roy Williams, as well as President Obama and Michael Jordan, who specifically said, other than his parents, no one else had a greater influence on his life. We remember Coach Dean Smith today. Skip Bayless, you first. You know, Stephen A., when someone passes, we often hear, he was an even better person than he was a player, or he was an even better person than he was a coach. I am here to tell you, from all that I know, all the years I've been in this business, here was a man who obviously was a great coach, who clearly was even a better man, a better human, a better person. And I did not have the privilege of getting to know Coach Smith, but I covered a whole lot of games that he coached. So that led me to talk to a whole lot of players who played for him and a whole lot of uh, coaches who coached for and against him. I never heard one single negative word about Dean Smith. You, you, you're free to tell me if you did, but we cover a whole lot of college coaches. And it seems like we often hear a whisper here, a whisper, well, he, he cut this corner, he did that. We, we hear everything about everybody. Not one single negative word about this man, Dean Smith. He took over in 1961 a North Carolina program that at that point had come to be racked with scandal and controversy. And his mandate was clean it up. He cleaned it up into the cleanest program, I think, in the history of college basketball. He, from the start, stood for class and character and consistency and utmost integrity. The word I often heard most associated with Dean Smith was integrity. And I must tell you that the one comment I heard yesterday, we had a barrage of people on this network talking about the greatness of Coach Smith. Most of them Carolina connected people played and coached for Coach Smith. You know who hit home with me the most? Mac Brown. Mac Brown went to North Carolina, but he was a college football coach at the University of Texas who said that all the way up the ladder of the coaching ranks, Mac Brown, believe it or not, was mentored by Dean Smith. He said he always took my call when, he, when I called. He'd make time for me. Well, a college football coach. So we get to Coach Smith's very fitting first name here, Dean. Wasn't he the dean of, of all college coaches? I think they all looked up to him and put him on a pedestal and said, you are the dean of all of us. And the sad part was in the end, we heard so many stories about what a great memory he had. And his memory in those last few years got threatened by that dread disease that he suffered, which was very sad. But, but what I will remember, speaking of memory, is that this was a great and godly man, Dean Smith. You know, it's interesting that you close <clears throat> like that because <clears throat> I'm not, regardless of how passionate I may be when it comes to death, I'm not the most emotional dude in the world. Experience too much of it. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe. But one of the things that I consistently say is that when somebody so great, somebody so wonderful passes us, the sadness stems from the fact that they're no longer with us. And we're the ones who are sad because they're gone. Because clearly, when you think about a better place, mm. there's no question where this guy is. I would agree. Um, wonderful, wonderful man. I've had the pleasure of meeting him on several occasions. Never cultivated a relationship with him. Was never in that position. I knew his players, obviously. Sure. Covering a lot of North Carolina guys that came through the league. Michael Jordan is very hurt right now. Um, George Lynch, mm -hmm. guys like that, Jerry Stackhouse, you can only imagine Rashid Wallace, uh, Kenny Smith. Um, I'm quite sure when he has his moment on TNT, he'll express his love and affection uh, for one of the greatest coaches of our time. But I will tell you also that being a graduate of Winston-Salem State University, I have, I come from a different perspective, as wonderful as I know Dean Smith to be. 
he's wonderful to me for a couple of different reasons. Obviously, Charlie Scott, the first yep. black scholarship player at, at the University of North Carolina. Uh, Dean Smith facilitated the ACC integrated did. sport of basketball. Well, I played, as you well know, Skip, for the legendary Clarence Big House yep. Gaines. Um, his mentor and friend was Mr. John McClendon. And, John and McClendon. you weren't far from That's right. I was Chapel an hour, Hill. An hour away from Chapel yeah. Hill. I spent quite a bit of time in Chapel Hill. Uh -oh. um, you know, when I think about John McClendon and I think about uh, Clarence Big House Gaines, remember when Clarence Big House Gaines was coaching us, John McClendon used to be in the stands. And John McClendon, yep. his advisor, was the inventor of basketball, Dr. James Naismith, mm -hmm. okay? That's how far back this guy got. So, you know, my tutelage comes from those guys. The things that I know about basketball today clearly isn't because I just played the game. Yep. It's because of John McClendon. It's because of Clarence Big House Gaines. When I first got into the journalism industry, I covered John Cheney. Um, I had the great Sonny Hill, you know, mentoring and advising me, the guy in the basketball historian in Philadelphia and then after John Cheney I covered Larry Brown so it's McClendon big house games then John Cheney and then Larry Brown with Sonny Hill mixed in between and I remember coach Gaines looking at me skip and saying you know he was a he was a hard man a good man but a hard man yeah and he used to tell me the one time I would see him lean back and defer with reverence was when he talked about Dean Smith because he talked about a man whose conscience was just so sensitive, so touching. Um, he believes to, in all of his heart that regardless of what steps both Mr. McClendon mm -hmm. and himself did to facilitate, facilitate the integration of college basketball, that had it not been for the efforts and the conscience of a Dean Smith, yeah. who knows if we would have ever gotten to this point in our society. He said, Dean Smith is a good man. Yep. That's all Coach Gaines used to tell me. He's a good, He's man. a good man. He cares about yep. everybody. He cares about doing things the right way. And when I see guys flourishing today, this is, this is one of those moments where you step back and you remember what Dean Smith was all about, who he was, and what he should mean to all of us. Because the game of basketball that we love, mm -hmm. if it were not for him, Guys like him, very, very few, and he's obviously one of them. Mm -hmm. We're not for guys like him. The sport of basketball and the players and the way they benefited from the sport of mm -hmm. basketball, it would have never occurred. Yep. It never occurred. And to piggyback about your point about Charlie Scott, this man campaigned through the 60s for desegregation and against the Vietnam War. He, he didn't wear it on his sleeve. He didn't turn his, his pulpit into any kind of a bully pulpit. He did it quietly and he did it effectively. He didn't want any credit for it to the point that it really just leaked out yesterday, not leaked out, but people began to focus on the fact that, wow, wait a second, he did this? He wouldn't boast or brag about it. He didn't make it part of his legacy. I remember back in the day, y'all, 1982, when they won the national championship mm -hmm. over Georgetown, when Freddie Brown mistakenly gave the ball yeah. to James Worthy and what have you. I never forget, that was one of the times, you know, you had a lot of black folks very, very torn. Because on one hand, Hoya paranoia with, with, with Ewing and yeah. Michael Jackson and, 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 and those boys, you just wanted them to win so badly I, I because did. the Hoyas represented so much. But it was impossible to root against Dean Smith. Mm. Because a, a national championship, despite the ACC tournament titles, 13 in his career, really? ultimately two national titles, all the accomplishments that he had done, you just had a tough, tough time mm. rooting against Dean Smith. Because even as great as Michael Jordan was, we didn't see he was going to be this great. Well, you didn't know. Well, I mean, Jordan, Worthy, freshman. Sam Perkins, yeah. and all of these. Were, you did not know no. about them. You knew about Dean Smith, and you just couldn't root against him. You couldn't do it. I'm with you. President Obama said yesterday he pushed forward the civil rights movement, recruiting the first black scholarship athlete to North Carolina and helping to integrate a restaurant and neighborhood in Chapel Hill. Um, Coach Dean Smith retired in October of 1997. After 36 seasons, Coach Dean Smith gone at the age of 83. Rest in peace. More first take after the break.